Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're so glad to have you as a listener. Today's topic is Ditching New Year's Resolutions. We'll be right back with a brief message from our sponsor. Ditching New Year's Resolutions, written by Laura Bailey, read by Laura Bailey. But as for me, I watch and hope for the Lord. I wait for God, my Savior. My God will hear me. Micah 7, 7. For as long as I can remember, the days between Christmas and New Year's were spent evaluating the previous year and planning all the ways I would improve in the following year. I crafted a detailed list with goals, timelines, and rewards if I hit the target. Rarely did I just focus on one solution. Instead, I filled every line on the paper with a new achievement. And every year around the 1st of February, exhausted, overwhelmed, and irritated, I threw my resolution in the trash and immediately pinned another, this time a more obtainable list. Except it was just as ridiculous to maintain as the first one. Last year, however, I decided to ditch the resolutions for good and focus on a word or scripture for the year. Setting goals and working towards improving oneself isn't a bad thing, but we mustn't let our identity be rooted in what we achieve or didn't. This year, I decided to focus on three words, scripture and prayer. My hope is to spend a few minutes each day to meditate and abide in Christ, using these words to prompt my quiet time. Feel free to use the below phrases to encourage you this year, and remember, It's not about what we do in 2023, but whose glory we do it for. Steadfast. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Psalm 5110. Every day I am bombarded with decisions that beg for my attention. What will I eat? Will the kids play soccer or baseball? Do I need to get the roof checked? As I go about slaying my to-do list, I often forget to address the most critical decision of the day. Will I choose to live a godly life? A part of living a godly life is seeking daily redemption and renewal of my heart and mind so that I can be steadfast in the Lord. God graciously gives his children a heart that yearns to love him and a spirit of steadfast obedience. Before I go about our day, I take time to call on the name of the Lord and ask for a clean heart that flees from evil a right spirit that glorifies God in all I do. Lord, I pray that you will give me a steadfast spirit that aches to choose to live for you faithfully. Amen. Pleasing. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Romans 12.1 Growing up, one of my favorite restaurants had the slogan, we aim to please. It's the service industry. Shouldn't they always aim to please? But I'd miss the point. The restaurant wasn't desiring a one and done transaction, but providing a pleasurable experience that would lead to a lasting relationship. How often do I treat my relationship with God like a transaction to be completed before moving on to the next thing? God finds great pleasure in the relationships with his children I can worship and honor the Lord by simply abiding in him. Lord, may I live in a way that is holy and pleasing to you. Amen. Power. A final word. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Ephesians 6.10. During the last few weeks before the birth of my first child, the doctor encouraged me to prepare both physically and mentally for my daughter's arrival. I began to tailor my workouts to focus on the muscles that helped deliver. However, mentally, I was anxious. I confessed to my husband, I just don't have the power to do this. And by myself, I didn't have the strength. But as a child of God, I had the power of Christ living inside of me. My strength comes from a loving, all-powerful Father, and He graciously gives to those who call on His name. Lord, help me be strong in You and rest in Your mighty power. Amen. Intersecting Faith and Life Take a few minutes a day and read through your favorite Bible verses. Is there a word that speaks to you? Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal a piece of scripture 
phrase, or prayer as you embark on a new year. For further reading, check out the related articles, How Christians Can Approach New Year's Resolutions, or Better Than New Year's Resolutions. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.